When the Sur-71 Blackbird ended its service in the U.S. Air Force, many believed aerial reconnaissance had peaked. However, its successor, the Sur-72, was soon announced by Lockheed Martin as a hypersonic drone capable of reaching Mach 6. This new aircraft, designed by the famous Skunk Works Division, aims to surpass the SR-71's legacy with its advanced intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance or ISR capabilities, posing a serious threat to enemy air defenses. The SR-71's origins trace back to the development of the A-12 spy plane, which was built in response to growing radar and missile threats during the Cold War, although the A-12 played a crucial role in reconnaissance missions over North Korea and Vietnam. Satellite technology quickly made such high-risk flights over the Soviet Union unnecessary. The Sur-71, introduced in 1966, improved upon the A-12 by offering more versatile intelligence-gathering capabilities and breaking numerous speed and altitude records. Throughout its service, the Sur-71 proved nearly invincible, dodging thousands of missiles during its reconnaissance missions. Despite its unmatched performance, high production and maintenance costs led to its retirement in 1989. Many believe the decision was driven by misunderstanding within Congress and the military. By the 1990s, the remaining Blackbirds were either stored in museums or used by NASA for research purposes. In 2013, Lockheed Martin unveiled the Sur-72, or Son of Blackbird, which is designed to fly faster than the Sur-71. Thanks to a combination of traditional turbine engines and advanced hypersonic scramjets, the Sur-72 will be an unmanned aerial vehicle or UAV and faces significant challenges such as managing extreme temperatures due to high-speed flight. To overcome this, advanced composite materials will be used in its construction to ensure durability. The Sur-72 is expected to make its first flight around 2025, with possible service entry by 2030. However, since its announcement, little has been revealed about the project, raising questions about its progress, with hypersonic technologies continuing to evolve. The Sur-72 could represent a major leap in military aviation if it succeeds in becoming the ultimate successor to the legendary Blackbird. What do you think? Will the Sur-72 take to the skies soon, or is it still a long way off? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this narration, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content like this. Thanks for watching.